This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Today we're actually going to have two videos as there's so much to cover as we talk about modern quilt designing. Uh, the first video will focus on the Greek key design that I used in the sashing of my modern maze quilt. To get started, I want to change a few of my standard settings. And then to do that, I'm going to go into the tools and into preferences. And I, since I'm going to be doing lines and I want to make sure that they stay very, very straight, I'm going to uh, enable snap to grid. But before I do that, I need to set my grid settings. So under grid, change your spacing, if it's not already set, to 0.5 by 0.5. Um, for grid major, uh, for this one, I actually want to change it to 9 by 9, and I usually use 8 by 8, but um, you'll see in a minute why I chose the 9, nine by 9. And then style, uh, show the grid as solid lines, and make sure that snap to grid is on, and then click on OK. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a copy of my modern maze block, and I'm going to select the backdrop tool and I'm going to navigate to my modern maze block here. If I can find it quickly. And I will open it. And I'm going to need to change some of the settings for that uh, because it came in pretty small at four inches by four inches, which was my, this is my screen capture from Electric Quilt. From the Properties tab, we're going to change the width and we're going to try 15. And I'm going to lighten this so we can see um, what we're actually drawing a little bit easier. And if I press the space key, that's back towards the center. And I'm going to turn the grids on up on the top here. Now, what I want to do is actually reposition my block so that one of the grids actually lines up with the uh, quarter square triangle piece. So I need to go back to my backdrop tool and now I can reposition this. Now what I want to do is um, click on the line tool. And once I have the line tool on, I'm going to do a Greek key type of design starting in the lower left corner. And so I'm going to start it at the um, one of those intersection points, go in one grid length, and then I'm going to go up to the top and go to the corner that's one grid length in. And you can see as I'm doing that, it's snapping to the grid point, which um, is ensuring everything stays, stays even. Now, I do need to save a path going out, so when I go back down, I'm actually going to go up two points from the bottom. And for the next couple, I'm going to continue to go basically in two points. So once I've gone completely in, now the path that I've left open, I'm going to use that to get back out. And once I reach the bottom, I'm going to go to the edge of the block and the intersection with that next sashing piece. And then I'm going to use the select key, which will save that. For this next section, I'm going to use the three-point arc tool. And I have a combination of lines and circles. And so to get the line segments, I will need to have the shift key uh, selected when I uh, put on the points. So what I'm going to do is I will start, I will pick up the tool, three-pointed arc, and I'm going to start in the um, where I left off with the last section, and I'm going to count one. And now I'm going to put the shift key down, and I'm going to count two, and I'm going to count three. And now I'm going to the next point, and I'm going to count two, 
and then I'm going to count three. Now I'm going to release the shift key and I'm going to count two, three, two, three, two, three. Put the shift key down, go up to the next one, two, three, two, Oh, and sometimes when that happens, it means that I, even though I thought I got the point down, I didn't. So I'm going to put the shift down and do two, three, two, three. And if I change that to a line tool and that to a line, that will straighten this. And for this one, I can just move it in place. So if it doesn't give you the sharp points, you can still fix it later, as you can see. Now for the next section, what I'm going to do is select that first block, and I'm going to do a Control-C, Control-V to duplicate it. And I'm going to rotate that. And I'm going to just turn off the grids for a minute so I can better see what I'm doing here. And I'll rotate it again. And now you can see um, where it can uh, come in. And I'm going to zoom in just so I get everything uh, lined up that I need to have lined up there. So. What I can do now is, I use the select key, is I can take that first section, I can use my T key on my computer and tie it to the next, and then I can use the T key on my computer while I'm holding down the last point and tie it to the next section as well. I realized when I tried to tie the sections that they were there was an overlap there. So to fix that, I'm going to first of all select this. I'm going to turn the grids back on so I can actually see um, where I want to move things. And I'm going to put the control key down and then I can move my blocks over. And so I can get this to line up with um, with the points that I'm trying to match there. So once I've done that, now I can uh, do the, use the reshape key again and use the tie. And sometimes I'll try from the other end if uh, the first one doesn't work. So those are all now connected. Now that I've done that, I can select this and I can uh, Control C, Control V to get a copy. Again, I'm going to turn these off. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to flip this also. And I can move that down to this section here. OK. Now, I still have to fill in this corner here, and I'm going to use a Greek key type of design again. And so um, I'm going to turn the grid lines on, and I'm going to go ahead and change my preferences uh, back to the 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. OK. Now I'm going to select the line tool. And I'm going to fix one other thing later, but let me just start from, I'm going to go in to here. And again, I'm going to need a path to get out. So I'm going to go in uh, basically two points. Two grid points, and now I'm going to come out with my path in between. And I actually want to move this down here. So to fix my block, um, I'm just going to snap that down, and I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to do the same up here. 
Now all I need to do is use the reshape tool, pick up my FERC section, and I'm going to use the T key on my computer to tie these three sections together. And so there's, I've tied one, and there I've tied the third one as well. At this point, I have the sashing piece of my block done. And this will conclude part one. Thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in other videos or would like to purchase the pattern for Modern Maze, please check out my website at www.onpointquilter.com.